Good morning, Fellowship High Crest. It is Wednesday, September 22nd, and today for Jumpstart we'll be in John chapter 5, verses 16 through 30. I'm going to read verses 16 through 23. Join me there. So the Jewish leaders began harassing Jesus for breaking the Sabbath rules, but Jesus replied, My father is always working, and so am I. So the Jewish leaders tried all the harder to find a way to kill him. For he not only broke the Sabbath, he called God his father, thereby making himself equal with God. So Jesus explained, I tell you the truth, the son can do nothing by himself. He does only what he sees the father doing. Whatever the father does, the son also does. For the father loves the son and shows him everything he is doing. In fact, the father will show him how to do even greater works than healing this man. Then you will truly be astonished. For just as the father gives life to those he raises from the dead, so the son gives life to anyone he wants. In addition, the father judges no one. Instead, he gives he has given the Son absolute authority to judge, so that everyone will honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Anyone who does not honor the Son is certainly not honoring the Father who sent him. Okay, so in this section of John, Jesus had just healed a man on the Sabbath, and he told him to pick up his mat and carry it off. Um, we, as 21st century Western Christians, may easily see the celebration here, that the man was healed and he can walk. Um, but Jesus did this act on the Sabbath, um, and there were many rules and laws against working on the Sabbath intended um, that God's people would rest and be able to trust him. Um, and carrying his, a mat was considered work. Um, it was something that you couldn't do on the Sabbath. Um, the religious leaders, although like they just missed the thing completely, they missed the thing to celebrate, and they wanted to critique the broken rule. And that's what they're addressing Jesus about. And Jesus confronts them with the fact that he is the son of God and they really lost it at that point. The point of the healings and eventually Jesus goes on to raise Lazarus from the dead um, was that these were divine God things, only things that God could do. Um, and so this is one of those passages that when we read it and we come to it, we have to come to terms with the question, is Jesus really who he says he is? Um, is he really God's son um, and not just a good person? Because if he's not God's son, he's making some really crazy claims and doing some really cra crazy stuff. But if he is who he says he is, then he's worthy of our complete devotion. We have to sit with the truth of who Jesus is and what he has done for us. And it calls us to make a decision. Are we going to pick up our mat and follow him? Or are we going to remain unhealed and sitting on the ground in the dark? Thanks for joining us today. Continue to power up, pour in, and spill out, and we will see you on Friday for Jumpstart.